Yep, there we go. Hi guys, it's Karen with Lovely Land. And uh, I'm gonna swing you around here and show you what I'm gonna do with this one of my pepper plants that's ready for this thing to happen. All right, let's swing you around there and check it out. Okay, eh, look, there's a dog toy on my counter. Bye. So this pepper plant here is a, an ancho, ancho pepper. Um, it's a beautiful little plant. I got it, I bought it from the, the uh, garden center, I don't know, maybe a month ago or so. Now, actually, let me show you one more. Hang on here. Okay, I bought this plant at the same exact time. This is a uh, chocolate habanero. There we go. Who needs water? I can feel it. He's very light. This one does not need water. Um, so when you look at these plants, first of all, they are different plants. So that's part of the difference here. But also this one, as you can see, has much has a much longer main stem. This one is nice and compact and how you want it. So the reason why they are like this, um, again, part of the reason is they're just different plants, but this guy was much closer to the lights than this one was. This one had a good foot um, above it. Like the lights were a foot above it. Um, in this one, they were much closer. It's just how it worked out in the space when I had one light up. So um, this one's perfect. He's nice and, you know, he didn't have to stretch. So when I was saying the other day about the tomatoes and how they're, if you don't have lights right on them, that they're gonna get sort of leggy, that leggy's not the right word. Leggy refers to something else and it's an almost unrecoverable condition for the plant. Um, it's not entirely unrecoverable, but it, it can be. This is not leggy, okay? This is just a plant with a long stem um, that has basically stretched itself to get to the light. So uh, when you have the lights instead right down on the plant, again, do I have to say it again? Not touching it. Um, this, this doesn't happen. They stay like this. They just, they'll grow out and it's perfect. So now I need some scissors. I didn't get my clippers because I don't, in my messy area here. I forgot to get clippers from outside. You know, let's go get the clippers from outside, all right? Okay, we're gonna go get clippers from outside. You're gonna go with me. I'm not looking in the right place. We're in my laundry room. It's messy. In my garage. And in here, can we see this? Where is it? Right here. I have a little bucket. You can't see it, but there's a little bucket right here. And it has a dragonfly on it. And that is my bucket. It's my little bucket of tools. Oh, George. So, uh, cause otherwise they're in the, the, uh, shed and that's far from the house. And also there's always, sorry, there's always, uh, a wasp nest, sorry. There's always a wasp nest uh, attached to the door on the shed and I don't like going in there. So I have my own little bucket that's safe and sound in the garage. I, if I could just look here, that'd be great, but I keep trying to look at myself. Yeah, all right, so let's swing around. I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do with this plant real quick. Okay, so back to this guy. So what we have going on here is one, he's trying to flower. Can you see in there? Right in the center, there's some buds. There's actually, a few, but I think you can only really see that one right in the middle of this uh, screen, basically. So if I didn't need to do anything else with this plant, I would just say, pick the bud off. Okay, you don't want them flowering at this stage. You don't want them trying to do that. That's way too much energy. But because this plant is has, has a bit of a stretch, stretched stem, what I wanna do is I wanna remove this growth tip, just this little bit right here, okay? And then what that's going to do is it's going to allow for lateral growth. There is a hormone that is contained right here <clears throat> that suppresses lateral growth. And as a recap, I've said this years ago and I'll just explain it again right now. The reason for that hormone in plants <clears throat> is so that the plant, like if you think of uh, in the wild or in a forest, for example, 
trees are all competing for light. And so they, Mother Nature said, okay, we're gonna make it so you want to grow up so that you're gonna get to the light so that they can, because obviously they need light to grow. So this guy doesn't need to do that, okay? He's not in the wild, he's not in the forest, he's a little bitty plant. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove this growth tip, that's it, okay? Right there, right below my thumbnail, okay? That's going to remove just these guys right here. Um, but it's also gonna remove that bud, so that's why I don't need to pinch it off. And then what you're gonna see within a week, you're going to see these little lateral buds right here. You're gonna see a lot of them. And it's all of a sudden this plant is gonna bush out like this one. It'll still be taller because it just is, but that is why I'm gonna do this. So I'm just gonna take, so this is hard to do and show you with one hand at the same time. But I can see that right here, that's my growth tip, okay? That's it, that's all I cut off was this little bit. Okay, the plant looks not as pretty. He used to look like this, <laughs> it looks like that. He just got a little haircut. But that's gonna make the plant grow much more sturdy and uh, it's just gonna have, it's gonna have the lateral growth that you're wanting in a plant. It's gonna help when, it, um, as it's setting fruit and all that, there's just gonna be more foliage and it's gonna be a healthier, sturdier plant. This guy, like I said, he's fine just the way he is. If at some point I feel like I need to prune him, I will, but I have a feeling that the, the, uh, no, they didn't. I was gonna say, I think that the, the uh, garden center may have pruned him, but there is no prune mark. That's not, it looks like a little something, but it's not. So no, he just grew like this. And again, he was closer to the lights, but anyway, that is it. Prune your peppers, if they look like this, Get rid of this little growth tip here. That's it, that's all you need to remove. It's a little teensy bit. See how it's not like a bunch of stems, it's just that little top thing. It's just the growth tip. You remove that, and in a week, I'm gonna have a lot more of these little guys in the armpits. The other thing that's cool about the timing of this is that this plant was forming buds. Can you see them in there? There's at least two right there. I think that's a third, it's hard to tell. But there, yeah, there's like four in there. Ooh, this camera's really good. So if I didn't need to remove the growth tip, I would have been telling you, pinch those off. I even have a video on, it's like a 30 second video saying, pinch off the flowers. But because I needed to remove this growth tip anyway, I didn't bother pinching them off. Um, I just removed the growth tip. So if I, if I did just wanna remove, pinch the flowers off, then that would be those. You'd just be pinching those little guys off. Yep. So that's it. These guys um, are obviously, come on. There we go. These guys are really healthy plants. Um, this one needs water, this one does not. But again, you're gonna see um, on Facebook primarily, uh, the, I'll be posting pictures. This will have a lot more lateral growth and it will bush out more like this one. It, it probably won't look exactly like this one because again, these are different plants, but it will have a lot more lateral growth and it'll be a happy healthy little guy please like this video please hit the bell subscribe if you haven't comment share with your friends all the good stuff all right really helps me out thanks so much talk to you guys soon bye